Hi everybody, I'm going to be showing you some Aramaic, Mesopotamian, and Sumerian words that I've been looking up for all of us. Um, I can do it on the computer this winter. I'll lay it out and make it all neat and everything. This is just my scribbling that I wanted to first tell you that the um, Anunnaki were mythological. They were not real. They were just call them the Masons way back when trying to fool you, just like they are now with their words, like the number six. And we'll get into that 666 thing. For number one, um, a divine number is nine. And so they're trying to trick and use a number that is of God anyway. So it will go back from Chaldean, which is an ancient form of Aramaic, B-C-E, before anything was even recorded. This is the language that they use in from uh, Iran, Syria, parts of Turkey, even into Eastern Orient and other places. So. We'll start with uh, we'll start with a few words like Avon. It's sin, iniquity, guilt. Ball, husband or master. Bara, create. Rib. Now this is a big one because they say that woman was taken out of the rib, and I always debated that because it's a lie. But what it says the, in the ancient language is controversy dispute then into fool those who are distant okay and then babylonian to english the Sumeric language of the chaldeans the ancient people in babylonia or pertaining to chaldea okay the word mark is stained with blood i got more on that on another page too and excuse my pump running i'm doing laundry so the word mark means to scar, target, no soul, beast, or animal. And then we'll apply the number to it in a little bit. The word twick, trick means wicked, hallow, or holy. So when they say Holy Spirit, wicked, I have an issue with that. The Sumerian name for God is D-I-G-I-R, like digger. And the goddess of female is key, K-I. The word hidden means retired, core verb, remote, quiet, secret, sheltered. Tav is a mark, a sign, or a covenant. Okay, back to the word uh, scar. Blood gang, stain, scar, no soul to affix, to keep account of, to leave a trace, a scratch, to notice or observe. And then the beast is called the fig, the fig tree, you know? Opposed to man, any irrational fellow, brutally fish, fil filthy, degraded fellow. Um, it means to battle, to fight to contend, compete. Okay, now the number six, which I said by, by Keens, as in Minnesota, by, to buy, also means to long for. It also means hexed, hazard. In Latin, it means violence, violate, all senses. Babylonian to English, the word light, Set on fire, kindle, ignite, illuminate, something that um, clarifies viewpoint. The slang, and this is what the Masons use, is to manipulate someone psychologically with the intent of making him or her question their own sanity and drive a person crazy so that they don't doubt their, so they doubt their memory and perception. Um, the word by also means bi, gate, 
or river. The numeral, numeral, the Roman numeral, is number six. And that, with the gate and the rivers in Minnesota, is what I'm trying to get about the bloodline that lives here that is hidden from everybody right in plain sight. Um, this is just some of it, but mostly what I was trying to prove, the mark of the beast is not money. The mark of the beast is in their blood because they cannot rise without Christ. And they're trying to ascend into heaven and they can't without Christ's blood. So I'm going to upload this and, um, oh, also, uh, the word, uh, the Mesopotamian word for light is Nora. Um, but the biggest one that I could say that would be important here would be the word by gate. River six by keen to long for the light to illuminate. These are all connected. Everything I just read you here goes back in. Um, like I said, it's uh, pre. It's pre um, Hebrew, pre Greek. This is the language they say. What did Jesus speak? Well, it's more like. Uh, what was the beast speaking to all the people before Babel, before the Tower of Babel? What is important to understand is that the Tower of Babel was set into play for two reasons, to separate God's people so they would be safe and go out among the earth in different directions and carry this information in our heart, and to also trick the opposition. They were tricking us. We were tricking them and we couldn't understand each other's languages. Now they're pushing that this mark is the money. Oh no, it's the stain in their blood. The stain. That's why the name of my channel is blood. The bloodline. So, um, and you can look it up for yourself. Um, like I say, just the uh, the mark tab t a v also um but literally tab my cursive is prettier than my scribbling here but literally means all that it really does. A blood gang stain a scar, no soul to affix, to leave a trace, a scratch. It's the beast opposed to man. It's not, it's in their blood. It's not anything that they're going to try and tell you that it's anything material you're taking. It's if you don't know that God is real and you take on the mark with, and we all know this, it's within ourselves. So there's some stuff coming up tonight that they're going to be talking about 666. Do not be fooled. This is all, the mark of the beast is in their blood. And once more, if they're trying to make money off you, and I'll go on to Vedic astrology. That is Satanistic, and I have studied it, and I know what I'm talking about. So when you're listening to these people, and I don't care what they say, and this was made in the Orient a long time ago, um, and I do know what I'm talking about more than they do because I, like I said, was taught this to help everybody here, and I know more than they do. And just this alone, that and that, and that it took me some time just to just to show you this and um, it's all true and it can be looked up like I said uh, Chaldean C-H-A-L-D-E-A-N and Mesopotamian M-E-S-O-P-T-A-M-I-A-N is a form of Aramaic and that was what the Bible was originally written in and when they go into their Hebrew and their Greek meanings, it is 
taking away from the truth that are the true words that mean something. And I'll tell you what, having a stain on you is a whole lot different than taking a piece of paper. Although that could apply too, because that's what they're trying to do. But I needed to put this out here before more bullshit was spread today. So I'll be back. I just I'll probably was something more pleasant, but I hope you gathered something out of this and um, maybe even take the words a little further. But I'm telling you, Viking is the mark of the beast. That's who thinks he's king right now. And um, nothing they say is going to make anything it any different so anyway everybody i love you very very much and don't forget ball means husband or master and which i don't have either except for the lord the almighty and he's not a master he's my father our father jesus christ almighty in my heart and nothing can take away from the truth of the words. And like I said, don't forget, like just the word rib is dispute, controversy, fool, those who are distant. You know, they're trying to trick everybody. Oh, and the word hidden, um, some of it, when I went to look it up, it said that it was removed. That's why I have my own dictionary and I'll be going into things a little deeper. This is about... This is just kind of scratch, get it to leave a trace, to affix, to scar, to stain. Yes, Christ did stain that blood gang is what it means. The mark, the sign, the covenant is the blood gang. Gang doesn't sound as nice as family, does it? To hex, a hazard, violence, violate, all senses that's what by means the light to manipulate someone you know all this stuff that are in actual languages that they're not putting out there for everybody because they don't want you to know because they're trying to trick you for your money so i don't know what i'm going to name this one i got to put a little thought into that but i love you very much and i will be back Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota. And if you can't trust me, I don't know who you can trust. So um, I'm, I'm not laying my life on the line. It ain't nothing like that because nobody scares me. Not like that. But I am laying my time on the line. And I was really, really upset. And God said, don't be upset because you can't find everything right now because it'll come into play and place and other people are trying to understand and help too so there's a piece that might help everybody and god bless your day or night and i'll talk to you soon later guys people